Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video for you on um, borage, which is also known as starflower, Borago officinalis. Um, borage is an awesome companion plant within the garden. As you can see here, it is just drawing in all kinds of life. If I keep the camera still here for just a second, you could just see. I, I could probably count 15 or 20 different bees flying around on here right now. Um, as well as some wasps and things of that sort, but it draws in all kinds of life. Um, borage is an annual herb, edible. The leaves themselves, some of these smaller leaves, like these little guys here, uh, make great additions to salad. Um, some of the bigger ones, which you get down in here, you kind of get into more of uh, what is used for greens, like a um, collard green or anything like that. As it become a little bit older, um, they, they get bitter. The taste and smell is very similar to cucumber, which is, um, the leaves themselves are actually also high in um, gamma linolenic acid, which is GLA. Um, it's an omega-6 fatty acid, which is good for joint health, boosts immunity, and uh, promotes healthy skin, things of that sort. It's also high in lots of vitamins, like vitamin C, vitamin A, iron, zinc, magnesium, things of that sort. Um, the flowers themselves, as I said before, these are, uh, it's actually called the star, star flower. It's one of the things it's known as. It's because of the five points on the flower, as you can see there. A little point coming out. Another one here, this little bee on this one. <laughs> but they, um, the flowers themselves are edible also have kind of a cucumbery taste. Um, the flowers themselves, actually, one of the things I find kind of interesting is they're one of the very few um, edible blue substances, naturally occurring blue substances on Earth. I mean, of course, you'll think of things like uh, blueberries, there's uh, like the blue potato, and blue nasturtium. Um, it's in a very short, short list of uh, plants. And borage is also an excellent companion plant for uh, plants like tomatoes, spinach, brassicas that like broccoli, cauliflower, and even various legumes and beans and things of that sort, uh, your nitrogen fixing plants. One of the biggest benefits for borage, besides obviously being edible, is that it attracts pollinators. Um, this thing, as you can see, is just booming with life. Bees and butterflies have flown in here a couple times since I've started this video. Uh, constantly bringing in all kinds of uh, pollinators to um, the garden, of which they then spread into the other plants and things of that sort around the garden, which is nice. Borage is, it, it's quite a sprawling plant. I mean, as you can see, let me get down in here, I'll show you this trunk on this thing, which is just humongous. Get the size comparison to my hand. Let me see if I can get in there. I mean, here's the trunk on this thing. As you can see, person in my hand, that thing is huge. So, borage itself can be quite the um, the space hog in a garden, but it's also very, very beneficial. Um, being a space hog is one of those things you can cut it back. Right now, I have it growing because I have a lot of my still winter-based um, brassica plants and stuff like that that are growing. You see broccoli over here some broccoli underneath of it um, but I plan on cutting this back quite dramatically so I can get some of my new plants coming in here pretty soon um, the great thing about that is you can eat it <laughs> some people think it's a disadvantage to have such a sprawling plant in your garden because it takes up so much room but I find it to be quite opposite because of it being edible and beneficial the, the cuttings that you cut off of it even in themselves can be used as a green mulch instead of going and buying mulch at the store you just take the cuttings off and drop them right down into your into your bed there it's adding nutrients back into the soil and you're also um, preventing direct sunlight from hitting the soil which is drying out the soil and you know wind and things of that nature coming in and blowing away and dehydrating your soil being that it is um, an attractor of good beneficial uh, insects and a detractor of bad insects becomes quite the uh, beneficial little plant to have in your garden and of course also being edible. I find borage to be quite a beneficial 
little plant to have in the garden. I hope you do too.